like a comfy lounge wear for my three to six month old. I don't know how to sit. This is the most awkward. <laughs> I'm not used to filming up here. Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. A couple of things to mention before we get started. Actually, it might be more than a couple. I think there's like four or five things, so now we're at several things. Sever there are several things I'd like to mention before we get started. Number one, uh, my skin. I thought it would be a really good idea to use um, Glow Lust by Orc Cosmetics, Orc Beauty. I will never know the name of that company. I thought it would be good to use that as a um, foundation today because I didn't really want any kind of coverage. I just wanted to clarify that because although I do sweat easily, this is not sweat today. If you can't take me seriously because of the way my skin looks, <laughs> that sucks, but I feel ya. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I'm just getting over a cold, so that means I no longer am wiping my nose every three seconds and I'm not hacking up a lung. I'm just at the stage where I sound stupid. What were all the other things? Oh, I'm trying a new microphone because it's supposed to be a professional podcasting microphone. I'm hoping that it enhances the sound quality. I don't know though. But I'm obviously not at my desk today. I am in my bedroom, sitting on my bed, praying that we're able to keep enough daylight to get through this video because it took me so long to set this up. What did I say? Let go, let God. What are we at? Four things? And I said there were five things I wanted to mention. Uh, apparently not. So, today's video is a little bit different. So I'm filming it up here. It has nothing to do with makeup. Revolutionary, I know. Today I'm gonna do a baby girl haul. Like a baby girl clothing haul. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Could you imagine? And this is the baby girl I found on the street. I'm doing a baby girl clothing haul. The majority of the stuff today is gonna be from a company called Pat Pat. Um, some of the stuff is from HomeSense, and I have a few things from Amazon. Essentially, everything I'm showing you today is affordable. I will be doing another baby girl clothing haul next week-ish, focusing more on Lotus Baby, which is my friend's clothing company for babies. Um, it focuses more on eco-friendly, organic, handmade, local to Ontario. It's just fucking adorable, but that will be probably next week. I think she said she's gonna deliver it this weekend. Yeah, anyways, if you want to see some really cute, affordable baby clothes that I have purchased so far for my unborn child, then stick around. If you're into this kind of stuff, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So like I said, most of this stuff is from Pat Pat, which is a store in China. However, you can order it from walmart.ca. I don't know if you can get it on walmart.com in the states but i was actually looking originally on walmart and i found a couple of outfits i was gonna order but they were like 15 dollars each and i thought i remembered pat pat being pretty inexpensive not that 15 dollars is a lot but in this case you'll understand in a minute i went directly to the pat pat website and i found the exact same outfit for like five bucks instead of 15 through Walmart. So if you have the time to wait, you'll save a ton of money. But speaking of shipping, the shipping in Canada from the website was free over like $44 Canadian. As I said, if you have the time to wait, it did take four to six weeks, I think, to get here. But I'm in no rush since my baby's not due until the end of July. So it worked for me. One awesome thing, or so I thought, is that everything I ordered came in this one bag, like all of it. And I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, me saying that right now. I'm gonna insert a picture here to show you the massive pile we're about to go through. Initially, I was like, thank you, awesome. We don't need a box the size of my body, which often happens when ordering from other companies. Once I opened the bag, I realized every item was individually bagged as well. So that means, and like some of them were bags inside of bags. So what that means is that I wound up with, I think 17 or 18 bags. So the whole, don't produce extra garbage, that went out the window. The other thing that I'm finding um, as well going through the clothes is that normally, and I'm speaking for myself, so if you find otherwise, that's totally fair. When I order clothes from China, they tend to run a bit small. In this case, it seems to be the opposite. I'm looking at these clothes and I'm like, how big are they expecting these babies to be? Maybe they're like overestimating because they're like, well, shipping to North America, let's up it by three sizes. Going to start, I have them kind of laid out in an order. I'm going to start with the blankets and bibs first. This is called the gauze security blanket. It is in the color ginger. It has a little um, piece here that you can put 
either a teething ring or a soother or whatever and just kind of clip it in there. So the reasoning behind this, my son has a security blanket. I'm gonna try to insert a photo as, as well here, but his was a sleep sack that he just randomly took to and never put down again. It's not small, it gets gross because it kind of drags on the floor when he walks around with it. So my hope is that she will maybe cling to this. She probably won't. She's gonna grab something else, like a t-shirt, likely. And this cost five dollars. Guys, I have waited my whole life to buy things for a little girl. The next thing is a muslin, 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 I don't know, cotton swaddle. This is in the color khaki. It cost seven dollars and fifty-one cents. This is like half the size. I'm leaving it folded in half. I'm gonna insert photos, I think, as we go, just so you can see, um, I don't know, the professional photos and what it looks like not just being held up in front of my window. This one, still in the bag, it is a two-piece cotton swaddle and headband or bow or whatever. We have hired a, well, hopefully a birth photographer, but in Ontario, the likeliness of them allowing a second support person in the hospitals in July, not likely. Uh, so that would mean I'd have to choose my photographer over my husband. It's not out of the realm of possibilities. Otherwise, she is going to come to our house within the first 48 hours to take newborn photos and we're going to have her wrapped up in this. And then it's got a matching headband to go with it. The plan is to put the headband on her, however, my son came out with the world's biggest head, and he was born by a c-section. He didn't even attempt to come through the birth canal. If he had, I imagine his head, instead of being like this perfect big round thing, probably would have been like three feet long. So if that's the case with my daughter, I'm going to put a hat on her instead. If my kid comes out with a football shaped head, then that is what she will wear. Oh, did I say? The last swaddle was $7.51 and then this one was $10.01. And everything is Canadian pricing, by the way. These are just kind of drool bibs and they're the fruity, fruity, they're not fruity flavored. I don't know why I'm trying to say fruity flavored bibs. <laughs> Watermelons, whatever this is, kiwi maybe? Bananas, pineapples, roll bibs, I will say, uh, with my son, I didn't think they were that important. And then he started drooling from like three months to, I don't know, 13 months, and I realized how important drool bibs are. So that was $8.76 for five bibs. This one is a silicone bib, I'm gonna leave it in the annoying crinkly wrapper. It is in the color khaki, it was $6.25. All right, now we're starting clothes. My sister asked me when I showed her these ones if I'm planning on wearing them myself. They're a bit on the big side. Oh, and also most of this stuff will be uh, in the older range, like nine to 12 months. Just because when she's brand new, I'm assuming I'm gonna keep her in onesies and sleepers. It's just easier to keep her in those as long as possible when she's like a little muffin that eats, sleeps, and poops only. And next year when she's one, I'll want her in like a cuter variety of clothing. <laughs> It looks big, but keep in mind, it's supposed to be like oversized and poofy. This is in the color khaki, so it's a ruffle sleeveless jumper thing. I got it in two colors, so I got khaki as well as light blue. They were $5.64 each. This one is one of my favorites. So this was a two-piece uh, cotton romper with a headband, head bow, head bow. Oh, look how cute! And then it's got little buttons up the back. This detailing up and over the arms, just so cute. That was $5.64 as well. This one is also $5.64. It's in the color lavender. Again, these are all nine to 12 months. Sorry if I hadn't been saying that. It's called like a ruffle strap jumpsuit. It doesn't have buttons to change a diaper, so that'll be a bit annoying because I think you'll have to strip her right down to change her butt. Yeah, you just tie the straps over the shoulder. Knowing my kid, I'll have to like triple knot it so she doesn't undo it and run around topless. This is a button front bodysuit. Um, it's in the color pink. It almost looks coral. It is ten dollars and one cent. I don't know why some of these are more expensive than others, but here we are. It's got a little belt that ties around the waist. I think this is one my sister didn't absolutely love. It seems very New York. I can picture like a really fashionable New York girl walking around in this. Initially I was trying to decide between ordering 9 to 12 or 12 to 18 month for next year. I am so glad I went with 9 to 12 because the sizing is so much bigger than I was expecting. Whether they just want these things to be super baggy, I don't know. Ooh, this is another one of my favorites. This is a jumper as well. Look how cute this is. This is in the color ginger. It was $11.26. I can't tie bows, so this looks stupid, but 
just goes over the shoulders and ties at the back at the butt here now we're in the three to six months this is just a i don't know a onesie solid solid body suit buttons on the front it's ribbed um three to six months in the color pink and this was five dollars and one cent one cent, one cent singular it was a single cent I don't know, man. That looks that looks kind of big for three to six months, does it not? This one is called the Casual Set. Again, I think it's adorable. It's a like onesie bodysuit here with ruffled sleeves and then pants that go over top. It's like a comfy lounge wear for my three to six month old. I'm making it look stupid when I hold it up, but again, look how big this is for three to six months. So that two piece set was in the color turquoise and it was seven dollars and fifty two cents. These tights. That's in the color ginger. They are also five dollars and one cent. I think what I'll do is also roll these up and use them for when she's younger too. I imagine it'll be fine. Again, these are super cute everyday things you can just throw over top of a onesie. I got two sleepers and they're just, yeah, like normal sleepers. Three to six months for the world's biggest baby. I got it in pink and mint green. So they were six dollars and 27 cents each. And last from Pat Pat, is the i don't know just a little short sleeve onesie okay this is the one that confuses me the absolute most this is for newborn <laughs> whose newborn is fitting into this all i can picture is like that baby dinosaur from the show dinosaurs like maybe that newborn i'm hungry feed my mouth fill my belly my son was nine pounds seven ounces and pretty much busting out of newborn clothes I think he might be swimming in this as a newborn. Okay, so that's it for Pat Pat. The next two things are from Home Sense. This is a two-piece jumper romper thing. It looks very much like the Pat Pat stuff, I know. Uh, it's got the little headband that stays in a permanent knot, which is convenient for me. Ties at the shoulder, it's got little buttons down the back. This costs $13 though, so in comparison, eh, I guess it's not much more than some of the outfits that we got from Pat Pat. Look at this little dress. It's got bows at the shoulder. It's little like, I don't know, pleat in the front. Anyways, it comes with the leggings to go underneath. Can you see? The stripes are like a gold sparkle, by the way. And then the little polka dots on here are also gold sparkle. The buttons up the back are really cute too. This is zero to three month and it was $14.99 Canadian. The first one was zero to three month as well. Last but not least, before the sun completely disappears, we are on to the Amazon purchases, which this will not be it from Amazon, I'm sure. I've only gotten a couple of things from there and they were sleep sacks. So they are for six to nine month old. I think they're Carter's sleep sacks, but they were $27.40 for the two of them. I'm huge on sleep sacks. So my son, who's almost two, is still wearing his. I just think they're smart. The sleep sacks, they can't kick them off. It keeps them warm. But yeah, she won't be in these types of sleep sacks where her arms are free until she's a little bit older. So I got the six to nine months just I don't know, it lasts a bit longer. And the last thing is not clothing at all, but I just think it's so funny. I got a portable humidifier from Amazon. I did not order this on Amazon. If you've heard me talk about a store called Crazy Bin. So I got this on $8 day. Uh, it's regular $30. I don't think I'm going to actually take this out of the house. <laughs> we tend not to take humidifiers with us when we leave but she will be starting in our bedroom in here right over there actually under the mirror that will be where she sleeps in her bassinet for the first four to six months so rather than having a full-blown humidifier in here I think I'll, I'll just put this one on well you can't see it but my nightstand is over there and I don't want to take up too much room on it again not clothing related I just thought it was really freaking cute and affordable okay that is it guys um, if you don't have kids or don't care about kids clothing you probably hated that video but you also probably didn't make it to this point in the video if that's the case so if you're still here thank you for watching I hope you found that interesting or at the very least um, I hope it helped kill some time if that's what you were trying to do and I hope to see you back at some point bye